Yo, look at this. Jingwei is also good in Dark Star Lord. She's doing more damage than Brewster and I'm using Sachiko as well. So Sachiko is boosting Brewster's damage, yet Jingwei is doing significantly more damage than Brewster. 3.5 million. So this team scores around 5.3 million. No, 5.7 million. That's pretty good. We got a 32 million score. This is the first uh, try by the way. So we'll see if we can break the 41 million high score. Uh, previously, I used Tever over here. But Tava is inconsistent when it comes to pursuiting because you're using relief set, you kind of need like an insane amount of RNG. The second team already has a, a crazy amount of RNG. Okay, again, 32 million. Again, is the second team not performing. Two, again, she's doing more damage than Brewster. I think my, sec my third team is lacking a little bit of healing. Uh, I might need to remove either Sachiko. Um, to put in maybe an Ahmed or something like that. Yeah, she's doing pretty pretty good damage. Once again, 3.39 million. There we go, 6 million plus, 6.5, 6.97 million on this team. Not bad, not bad. There we go, 7.6, 7.7 million with this team. Okay, let me try to run the Tever team and then you'll see the difference between Tever and her. Alright, so with the Tever team, I have to use Clara. Then you'll see this team does slightly less. It's around 6 million plus, I think. Okay, we did get a high score. Yeah, it did significantly less. And the other team scored like 5 million minimum. This team only scored about uh, 2.5, 3.4, 4.4, 4.5 million, something like that. And then once you reach like 4 million plus, is where the boss gets to one-shot your units, right? But with uh, Jingwei, you're kind of safe to, to reach like 5 million plus pretty easily. As you can see, again, uh, significantly lower than the Jingwei comp. Again, that's like 5 point... Around 6.5... 6 uh, one million around that ballpark. One more time. One more time with the Tavern team and then I'll go back to the Jingwei comp, okay? 36 million, again second team. Again, Brewster did, did 3.7 and then Tavern only did 1.6 million. So that's around, uh, what? 4.3, 5.3, 5 5.5 million. Still not higher than the Jingwei comp. Oh my god, I forgot to click record. So what happened here is I did a few blitz. I had 150 Nexus Crystals. I used them all up and I got 41.8 million high score. You'll be surprised at how well this Team 3 does as compared to my old uh, Team 3. I showed you just now, the Tavern comp barely uh, gets like 5 million. And this comp, I'm not gonna spoil the surprise, I'm just gonna show you the run. It does insane damage, let me just tell you right now. This team averages, no, minimum, minimum is 6 million score. Minimum! So when I say minimum 6 million score, you can expect it to be way more than 6 million, right? With this run right here. Again, the, the first team, we already got the gist of it. It's to land 10 debuffs on the boss. If you're new, the, the reason why you want to use uh, this Poison Espers is because it's easier to just stack poisons. Um, and also, Poison is the best of the dot mechanic debuff. Bleed is pretty bad um, because it does percentage of your attack. I mean, unless you have like a really high attack, then Bleed might be better. But Poison is generally just better for the team 1. And also, a lot of people have been asking why Falcon in the first team. is because Falcon, uh, Eye of Horrors debuff actually reacts with the Poison. So if the Poison does a, a total of 120 damage, uh, 120,000 damage, the Eye of Horrors debuff will add about 20% of that, which is like, what, 24,000 damage? So it kind of acts like an additional Poison uh, debuff, as long as it's on the boss. Wow, okay. So, it seems like this wasn't even the best RNG for my team 2. My team 2, um, the highest I've seen it go is up to 34 million. Which means I can still squeeze out about, what? 6 million from this team 2? So, my high score right now can still go up by 6 million. 6 million! That's insane. Or maybe not 6 million, uh, let's see. So, it's around 30 million right now. Which means I can still add around 4 million to my high score. That's crazy. So yeah, with this team, Jingwei pretty much has the same 
function as Tever in this comp. Look at that, 100,000 assists. And she's doing less damage than Tever, but keep in mind, she does her pursuit or assist uh, guaranteed, right? If the, uh, the allies have at least three buffs on them. So, and she's also doing AoE damage as well with her S3. So yeah, she's doing pretty crazy. Look at that, uh, 120,000. And she's consistently applying the CRD buff to the boss. Whereas if you run a Tever, the CRD buff sometimes doesn't land at all on the boss because he is very RNG dependent. Uh, he needs a relief set and he also needs the entire team to be built around him, right? If the team doesn't spam S1 as often, then Tever is not really going to do uh, much for you because the relief proc only procs when um, you use an S1, right? But uh, Jingwei doesn't care about that. She just needs your allies to have at least 3 buffs and do an attack. That's all you need. You can use the S3, she will still pursue attack onto that. You can use the S2, S1, whatever it is, as long as it's a damaging skill, she will pursue uh, onto that. And this is also a prime example of how you maximize your Shuan Pin. You want to use your Shuan Pin with uh, units that uh, generally they do um, damage outside of their turns. So, uh, Brewster is a good example. Brewster does damage outside of his turns. He does his pursuit mechanics. Uh, Jing Wei is one of the best candidates that you can use with Shuan Pin because he do, uh, she does damage outside of her turn as well, right? With the pursuits that she does with her S1. And the reason why you want this type of units to be run with Shuan Pin is because um, these type of units can benefit from the horse buff the most amount of time. So units like Jing Wei and Brewster, they will still have the effect of the horse buff when they do, when they do their pursuits, right? Which means you can build them extremely slow and if they do 10 pursuits during the duration of the horse buff, which is 2 turns, those 10 hits will be amplified by 25% uh, damage. Whereas if you run like something like Gaius or something, Gaius is one of the worst Esper that you can pair up with Shuan Pin, for PvE, PvE at least, right? Because he transforms, does one turn, and then when he does his nuke, the horse buff is gone. You only amplify your attack by 25% for one turn. If you're using any other DPS that doesn't have any pursuits on their mechanic, they will just at the at most will amplify their attack uh, by 25% for uh, two turns at most, because they do their damage in their turn. It's not outside of their turn, right? Like uh, how Jing Wei does, Jing Wei uh, or Brewster, you know, any any of these pursuit mechanic aspects. So there we go. We survive all the way up to the end because we do have defense buff. So we're a little bit, we're significantly tankier. Uh, no healer in this team comp and we're doing 10 million. You saw the score right, right now, right? I scored about 30 to 31 million on my team too. And then now we're at 40.4 million. All of my units are alive. Jingwei is doing 60,000, 100,000 with defense break on her S1 every single time. And she spams her S3 which does 160,000 damage. Why she spams it? Because if you have 5 buffs on her at least, she will... No, not 5 buffs. If you have 3 buffs on her at least, when she casts her S3, she will reduce the cooldown by 1 and then you also have Sachiko to reduce her S3 cooldown. Look at this damage. 4.4 million. 4.6 million on Brewster, that's 9 million. 9.5, 9.6... 9.7 million damage almost 10 million this is pretty much i think 10 million one run i had where yushu did 5 million by herself 5.5 million by herself but i forgot to click record so yeah that's the team comp she's insane she's better than tever i showed you just now tever team barely gets about 5 million sometimes if i get really lucky then it can get up to 6.5 million but never uh, close to 8 million, never close to 9 million, you know, stuff like that, right? Um, I'll show you the runes real quick. The team one is standard. You just want to land debuffs all around. Embla. And you can also use uh, Jingwei on the second team, but keep in mind, if you use her on the second team, like maybe you're trying to remove um, 
Yun Chuan or something, you won't have 5 buffs on her. And it's very important to keep 5 buffs on her. You don't need 5 buffs on all of your allies, you just need 5 buffs on her. Because of her... Uh, this part right here. If she has at least 5 buffs, her basic ability damage plus 10% up to 50%. So this is the reason why you want to have at least 5 buffs on her. If you have 4 buffs, it's doing significantly less damage. Um, so keep that in mind. And yeah, this is Brewster on the Ocean set. Again, you want Brewster to be on attack instead of speed because you want to maximize the, the use of uh, Shuen Pin's horse buff. And then Yushu is on Thunder set. You can also go uh, with the Calamity set if you have a better one. And then Shuen Pin is on Ocean set uh, with a little bit of uh, accuracy as well. And Sachiko is on Ocean set. You gotta make sure you, that your supports don't have uh, the hi highest attack in the team. I'll explain one in a bit. And then uh, Gabriel is on Ocean set and hold fast. So if I want to get a better score, I should put Sajiko on the hold, hold fast as well so that I can boost Jingwei's damage a little bit further, right? So the reason why you want your supports to be low attack is because you want the horse buff, which is uh, from Shuan Pin's S3, this one right here, to go to Jingwei. If you don't know, the horse buff uh, take a look at Shuan Pin's S3, grants horse to two allies with the highest attack for two turns. Only the highest attack gets the horse buff, right? And the horse buff is uh, damage amplified up to 25% against PvE uh, experts. So, number one, Brewster has the highest attack in the team, which means he's guaranteed to get one of the horse buff. And then number two, you want your Yu Shu or Jing Wei to, get the, to have the second highest attack in the team so that she has the attack buff, so that she gets the horse buff, right? Yeah, you, you tune your supports accordingly to, to have lower attack than your Jingwei. So that's the team comp. I managed to break my high score. Even with my second team not performing at its best, I could still add 4 million to the to the team, uh, to my score. Now, is she better than Mateo in this team comp? I'm not too sure. If you have like a Mateo with a uh, very high resonance and high divinity, Mateo might still be better. But uh, keep in mind, Mateo cannot fully use the... Uh, horse buff like she does right and she does her damage outside of the turn which means she's not eating up at your turn count whereas Mateo while he does a lot of damage he still eats up at your turn count right she doesn't she still does 5 million damage while taking a, a minimum amount of turns as possible try to run her you want to have at least three buffs on all of your allies Gabriel is here to provide the two t uh, three turns of immunity if you have her at R6 and most importantly, the defense up also is very important because she does scale with defense and attack uh, with her S1. And you want to use Sachiko to reduce the cooldown of Shuan Pin so that she can spam her S3 as much as possible to apply the Mystery debuff. Make sure you use her in Dark Star Lord as well, she's very good. I think she's going to be also very good in Forbitter as well. In one of my team, uh, we'll have to see tomorrow. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Ciao. You know what, just in case you guys don't believe me that she does 5 million um, just now, let me just show you. I have 200 Nexus Crystals, I'm going to do a few Blitz. This is going to be either a fail or it's either going to be a, an epic success. Okay. Okay, this time around 2 million, not the greatest, but this team is pretty consistent to score like 5-6 million every single time. Like I said, the, the, the bare minimum it scores is like 6 million. Just now, I think it was 6 million. There we go. Another 8 million score. And she does more damage than Brewster. There we go. I'm not lying. 5 million. <laughs> 5.4 million. This is a 10 million team. 10 million. Unfortunately though, my second team didn't perform. So I only got 23 million score. Once again, 4.6 million. Okay, this one's not too good. But still, better than the Tavrik team. Another 4.2 million. She's consistently doing more damage than Brewster. 4 million. Last try, come on, maybe you break like 6 million, just, just to prove a point. Wow, 5 million, 15 million, wow, that's crazy. Okay, this one is not the greatest, but as you see just now, she did 5.5 million by herself, and yeah.